all the Pandavas along with Draupadi and Kunti Marani, they all came to Hastinapur and there the gambling match happened and the gambling match happened exactly as per the plan of Shakuni. Right at the nth moment, Duryodhana said Shakuni was going to roll the dice and Shakuni started playing and what happened at that point in time? Shakuni won the game. Game after game after game, Shakuni was winning. One after the other, one after the other, one after the other. Yudhishthir Maharaj placed wagers and he was losing and losing and losing. Now, Yudhishthir Maharaj had a weakness for gambling. And because of this reason, he was unable to stop because he was thinking, okay, next match I'll win, next game I'll win, next game I'll win. Like that, he was thinking. But then he just lost everything, including his beloved kingdom, Indraprastha. So you see here, this is uh, an incident, actual incident that happened in Tokyo. So police officials uh, here, they reported about a 24-year-old Japanese mother who was actually driving uh, on her way by car to Tokyo from this small uh, uh, place, you know, and... Uh, there was a gambling house, you know, a place where gambling uh, opportunities are there. And uh, they had these gambling games. You, know, you would have seen pinball like that. There is this gambling game called Pachinko. So she parked her car and then she went inside to play this game. Okay. Uh, so you see what happened. So she was not alone. She was with her two baby girls one year old and two year old okay two daughters were there she made them one year and two year babies they were she made them sleep in the car kept the engine on and the air conditioning was running and she went in for an hour she came back after an hour she saw they were peacefully sleeping she again went in and then she forgot how much time she uh, spent there so this false hope usually makes one act irresponsibly. So you see what happened. She came back after an hour, went back. She forgot the time because she wanted to win at least once. And it was eight hours. Will anybody, any mother leave children, you know, her children for eight hours in a place in some God forsaken place, God knows where, right? For eight hours, she left two young babies, small babies, and she went away. Was this a responsible act or irresponsible act? So you see what happened. Basically, the exhaust of the car was being uh, pushed back by the air conditioner inside the cabin, inside the car. And carbon monoxide generally kills a person if inhaled for too long. And nobody will get choked. They'll just slowly, they'll go unconscious, they'll feel dizzy, go unconscious, and then they'll lose their lives. Now, this is how um, Airi and Mizuki, they died because of the irresponsible act of Shino Takahata. Okay, so after this false hope, irresponsibility comes. And after the irresponsibility, the gambler will turn to lying and cheating. Therefore, it is said that gambling destroys truthfulness. So lying starts. And then like in the case of uh, uh, Rukmi and Balram, the same thing happened. Rukmi lost the match, gambling match. He lied. And uh, after that, what happened? You know, uh, Balram got so angry, he picked up his mace and broke the teeth of uh, Rukmi. So these kind of incidents are possible. So there are four pillars of sinful life. There are four pillars of um, virtuous life or religious life. And there are also four uh, pillars of irreligious life or sinful life. And they are intoxication, which breaks austerity. Okay. Intoxication means consuming alcohol, drugs, all of these things are intoxication. And a person cannot be austere, disciplined if a person intoxicates himself. And then having illicit relationship with the opposite gender, you know, so that destroys cleanliness. 
and then meat eating will destroy compassion and gambling will destroy truthfulness so austerity cleanliness compassion and truthfulness tapa okay shaucham and daya and satyam these are the four pillars of dharma and intoxication illicit relations meat eating and gambling these are the four pillars of adharma the four pillars of adharma destroy the four pillars of dharma okay so after a person gets to lying and then starts gambling more then this becomes an addictive psychiatric disorder when this goes on continuing okay and you see the center for addiction and mental health there they say this pathological gambling is characterized by an impulse or urge to gamble in a persistent persistent means consistently continuously and maladaptive manner disrupting vital relationships important relationships in our life will become destroyed if we get into this psychiatric state of gambling where i am not able to get out of it anymore and activities of daily living will be disrupted so you see this we will not be able to lead our lives in a normal way so when the psychiatric disorder state comes it is an utter waste of time okay and we can see shila prabhupad the saying here so you know prabhupad is saying it's just a useless waste of time from the beginning to the end it is a waste of time right.